there, there's a few ways you can produce the backhand. I don't know, there's a few ways that each coach will teach it, but there'll be, uh, for me, like Lake Hewitt was straight down and through, okay, Saffin was a little bit more above, you'll see Zvera was a bit higher again. So everyone has their own sort of take on it a little bit, but most of the time you'll see a full sort of surface. And again, so the guidelines that we mostly look at, it talks about that. And, and I think it's a good one on the back end because you do see, yeah, uh, your Tomic and your Curios are very much kind of straight to that spot. Um, I think it's just important to understand there's, straight, there's benefits to that, and it's mainly at the pro level where they're serving, you know, serving two ten, you know, two twenty k's an hour. That's like the best swing for a, a huge, you know, shot into that side. They'll defend really well with that. Um, where you see that back end kind of doesn't do as well is like he's on play, so you see. Tommy and Curios and guys like that, they struggle to win, win a lot of rounds um, when the ball bounces up higher because their swing is literally designed for an absolute rocket into that, into that spot there. So they do really well on fast courts because nobody usually makes a play too much here. And the faster you go into a small swing on the backhand, the better. Um, I think for the, the majority of the players that we're teaching because they're mostly juniors and there's not a lot of power on the ball, that's why we encourage typically just that circular, that circular swing because they need to generate power there's no, no one's hitting anything over you know, 100 k's an hour in, in the juniors. Um, so they've got lots of time. They almost need to, need to, need to give them, a, I guess, a swing that generates power. 